What's up YouTube? It's your boy JB and we're here with a brand new show that I'm going to review. This is Married at First Sight season 13 episode number one. So this season they're in Houston. The episode was titled Lone Stars No More. This show is going to be interesting for me because it is just, I know it's an experiment, but it's an experiment that I would never do. You, the, the the thought of actually marrying someone that you have never met, you don't know anything about them, you don't know what they like, what they dislike, you don't know if they're close to their family, you don't know anything about them. It's just interesting to me. So there is absolutely no way it could be for me. And then the experts. <laughs> I have a lot of questions about these experts. The way I match people up, it's, it's interesting to me the matching of people it's interesting but you guys before we get into you know married at first sight if you guys are watching this video or any other video on the channel and not yet subscribed stop taking me out on this date and hit the subscribe button hit the like button hit the notification bell button hit all the buttons on the channel you guys now without further ado let's talk about married at first sight all right you guys so i think i'm gonna go in order of how the couples were introduced to us right so the first couple we were introduced to was Mirla and Gil. <laughs> the experts think that Mirla and Gil would be a perfect balance for each other. I'm like, okay, how? So we see Gil as he's telling his friends that you know he's engaged and he would be and he would be married by the end of the month. So I was trying to figure out like what the timeline was for this. So at one point in the episode they said January 31st. I'm like, okay, so that was before the winter storm came here in Texas. Ooh, y'all got married just before that, huh? So he tells him he doesn't know her. We find out that Gil is a firefighter. You know, he's talking about how he wants a 90s R&B love. I'm like, what the? What? You want a what? A 90s R&B love? Okay. I'm like, okay, Gil, whatever. Gil is Colombian. He also has a lisp. <laughs> just putting it out there. He has a lisp. Um, I did feel bad for him when he said that his dad was killed in a home invasion. I did feel bad for him. Now, looking at Gil and looking at Mirla, especially throughout the episode, I don't know how the experts matched them together. They're night and day. He's an outgoing life of the party type of person. Mirla is the complete opposite. We're going to talk about Mirla, but Mirla is the complete opposite. I don't necessarily believe I'm going to like Mirla. She just gives me, she just, it's just something about her. We see Mirla, right? Mirla goes to talk to her friends. I was slightly surprised that her friends were black. Was not expecting that. Did not expect to see her with no black friends, but I mean, it is Houston, but I just didn't expect it. So then she's telling her friends the same thing as well. You know, she's getting married in two weeks. Her friends are happy for her. Complete opposite for, you know, Gil. So she says, you know, she tells us she's bougie, which I figured that right off the bat. I'm like, you can look at her until she's bougie. And um, she says she's tired of interviewing men, asking them if you want marriage and you want a family. If they say no, she's done. Okay, ages. I have to remember what the ages are. So I think, if I'm not mistaken, Mirla is, shit. I think Mirla is either 33 or 34, and I know Gil is 35. Yeah, I think Mirla is 34. I'm almost positive she's 34, right? So Mirla tells us, you know, she grew up poor, so she doesn't want to go back to that, which I understand that. But I just, you know, she seems a little, I'm, I'm, I'm going to just keep it real with you. She seems a little superficial to me. She seems like she's all about material things. She feels like she's all about monetary things. Like, that's all she kept talking about. But she did, like, she, she did mention marriage and family, but she kept talking about this lifestyle that she lives. I'm like, um, you know that you could have something, you could have a lot today and it'd be all gone tomorrow. What will you have once all that stuff is gone? Like that was my thing with Mirla. Then she tells her friends, she sent them a whole list of requirements that she does not want. I'm like, so you can't find love, but then you want to be picky about the love, the person that they match you with. And she says she doesn't want someone that's bald. What's wrong with bald? Us bomb men look good, so I don't know what you're talking about. And I'm like, well, little do you know, your husband is your husband to be is bald. Like I was just looking at her like, it was the material. She just kept talking about the material things. I'm like, it's got to be more to you than material. Like, please tell me that there's more there. If not, I don't see. 
honestly, I don't even see them lasting because like I said, he, Gil is an outgoing person. He likes to go out. He likes to have fun. He likes to drink. He likes to dance. He likes to do that stuff. Mirla, a stick in the mud. Don't see them lasting. Don't see it lasting. Um, let's move over to the next couple. Michaela and Zach. So Michaela, she's 30, and Zach, he is 27 years old, right? I have a lot of questions about Zach. I have a lot of questions about Zach. Something about Zach is just kind of iffy to me. I don't know what it is. I can't put my finger on Zach. There's something that I have a, I have a big, huge question mark when it comes to Zach. So Zach tells us he's never been in love before. So I'm like, if you've never been in love before, Make it make sense. It, you've never been in love before. He says, um, he's, uh, we'll talk about that. So he, he tells us he's with his mom and his dad, right? So he tells them, you know, um, they tell him that marriage is more than just love, which that is true. And Zach says he has a brother that is getting married. He has another brother that is in a long-term relationship, right? So he's just at the point where he wants to get married. And I'm like, why? What's the rush? Like, I was just trying to figure out what's the rush. I'm not going to say what I'm thinking, but I'm thinking something. And I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it because it might be a little bit offensive and it might be a little bit rude. So I'm not going to say what I'm thinking. But he, I feel like he's, it's just something ain't sitting right with me, right? So then Zach says his longest relationship was nine months. So your longest relationship was nine months. But here you are on this show getting ready to get married to a perfect stranger so you've never once been in a long-term serious relationship so you don't know what it is to be in a relationship you don't know the ups and downs of a relationship you don't know you know you, you know you have your good moments in a relationship but you also have your bad times in a relationship so what happens when the going gets tough what are you gonna do like like it's just a lot of questions nine months that's really not even a, a, that's not even that long in a relationship then he said his shortest relationship was two months to the guys later. I'm like, dude, stop talking. So then he told, like I said, he told his family he's getting married in two weeks. They're like, are you serious? Yep. So then we meet Michaela, right? So Michaela, she's talking to her sisters and they're like, you know, you're very stubborn. And that's the other thing. Like, what if your, what, do you, what is, like with Zach, what if your personalities clash? Like, you don't you've never been you've never been in a relationship that long so you don't know what it's like to deal with someone who is an introvert extrovert stubborn you know pig-headed stuff like that you just don't know so they said she's a stubborn we found out that Michaela's a realtor right she said that you know when she was younger she was very shallow I understood what she meant by that one because even I was at a certain age I was shallow you know you don't want someone who's older you don't want someone who is bigger than you. You want someone who's tall. You don't want to date someone who's short. They, you got to have such and such. And she said, you know, as she got older, she realized we're all going to get older and we're all going. our looks are going to fade. And that is something that is true. I had that realization when I was in my mid-20s. She also tells us that, you know, growing up, it was hard for her, right? And she says she was homeless. Then she also tells us that her dad was killed by a drunk driver, which was really sad. And then her sister says that, you know, there are some things that you need to adjust in order to be a good partner. And then also with Michaela, she tells us she's never been in love. I'm like, well, damn. So what are y'all going to like? Oh, my God. <laughs> and then so here's the thing that threw me for a loop. Right. So when Zach and his friends went looking for his his tuxedo. He was like. You know, he wanted to be, he's, been, he, he's wanted to be married since he was 25. And I'm like, for what? Who, want, who really wants to get married at 25 and why? Like, I have friends who got married in their 20s, but they got divorced too. And they're in second marriages now. And we're 32. 32, 33. I'm going to move on. All right, you guys. So next, I'm actually going to skip over the couple that was next, which was Bao and Johnny. We're going to save them for last. So next up, we're going to talk about Brett and Rachel, right? Brett and Ryan. Sorry. Ryan and Brett. Ryan and Brett. Ryan is 35. Rachel, I believe. Why do I keep wanting to say Rachel? Ryan is 35. Brett is 33. So Ryan tells us that he's been a serial dater most of his life. 
He's dated 50 plus women in the last three years. That's not a serial dater, my dude. That's, you're a womanizer. <laughs> like you've gone from woman to woman and, and you got, you say 50 women in the last three years. That's not a good look, my friend. And then you're saying you can't go in certain cities, certain, certain small cities because you've been with so many women. That's not a good look. I, I wouldn't be bright. I wouldn't tell any. I would never tell anybody that one. 50 women. 50. And I'm pretty sure when you say you, uh, uh, yeah, serial date, I don't know if you've actually dated 50 women. Maybe had, you maybe had sex with 50 women. Because, uh, yeah, I just wouldn't, I would never, ever, ever lead with that one. Really wouldn't. You know, he tells us that he did lose his best friend recently, which that is sad. So I guess that's changed him. Okay, okay right. Yeah. So then he tells his family, so he tells his mom, his dad, and his sister that he's going to be getting married in two weeks. They didn't, they were not feeling that. His sister was like, you fall in love very quickly. I'm like, does he? Does he? Because if he fell in love very quickly, how in the hell do we get to 50 women in three years? That's not falling in love quickly, my friend. That is falling in bed with women. Because if he fell in love quickly, then that means he would he would be with the woman and then he was he would stay with her until they break up or would have gotten married. But yeah, she's talking about the fact that he falls in love quickly. He falls in lust quickly, I would say. His mom and dad were not feeling it <laughs> at all. So then we meet Brett. So Brett is with her friends and I'm sorry, her friends gave me very... Oh my God, Airhead vibes, especially the one that had that that cup up to her mouth. But she told him she's getting married in two weeks as well. Brett lets us know she hasn't been with a man in two years. I'm like, oh, okay. Not a, that's not a bad thing. Actually, it's really not a bad thing. She hasn't been with someone in two years. But then it makes you wonder, why haven't you been with someone in two years? Is it because of the men that you pick or is it because of you? Like, what's the, what's the issue? Like, there's got to be something somewhere. And I, I don't want to put it on her. So I'm, maybe, maybe it's just the pool of men that she's been selecting from that have not been good picks. I don't know. I don't know if Ryan's going to be a good fit for her either. How in the hell do these experts match these people? Like, this is interesting. I mean, I'm pretty sure. I know it's casting. And then I saw on Facebook. Uh, I don't use Facebook like that, you guys. So... I saw, I'm in this Facebook group, but I, and I got on there. I did see where Johnny said that someone reached out to him on social media and asked him about being on the show, which I know that happens a lot. They scout people. I do know that with reality shows, they do scout people. Um, yeah, I don't know if Brett, I don't know if Brett and Ryan are going to be a fit for each other. Just don't see it. Um, let's move on, I guess. Should we? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think Brett and Ryan is going to be a good fit for each other. You got a serial dater and you got someone who hasn't dated in two years. Let's move on. All right, now we got Rachel and Jose. So Jose is, so all the men are 35 with the exception of Zach. And Rachel, I believe she's 33 as well. I believe Rachel is 33. So we see Rachel, right? So Rachel tells her mom and her best friend that she's getting married. Her best friend kept it real with her. Her best friend says, girl, you are insane for doing this. I'm like, I'm like, someone makes sense. Her mom says, but that's Rachel. So Rachel tells us that, you know, her last relationship ended six months ago, right? But they, this was, you know, they, they quarantined together, but they were actually a long distance relationship. She's lost some weight. You know, she looks, she looks great, by the way. She says they broke up after nine months because she found out he was cheating on her. I'm like, how in the hell was he cheating on you? If y'all quarantine together. Oh. Okay. I mean, I know it's possible, but God dog, right? Rachel's friend. Look, Larice. Latrice. Larice. Larissa. Larice. 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 That's her name, right? I like the friend. The friend kept it real with Rachel. The friend was blunt as hell. And I'm like, that's exactly what Rachel needs to hear. Like, this, this is a crazy-ass experiment. Like, my best friend came to me and she said... You know, 
I'm finna get married to somebody that I don't know. I'm like, girl, you are stupid as hell. Why are you doing that? Like, that makes no sense. You're finna marry someone that you don't know? Like, what if he's a serial killer? What if he's a child molester? What if he is, you know, a porn star? No judgment there. What if he's a drug dealer? Like, you don't know nothing about this man and you're just gonna go and marry him. Not for me. Not I said the pussycat. So then we meet Jose. Eh, Jose. Jose, he's telling his family that you know he's he's um he's getting married too. So Jose, hmm, Jose. Let's see how do, what I want to say about Jose. I'm not gonna say anything bad about Jose, besides the fact that I think he is picky as hell. He is what else it is? Jose is picky. He has such high standards. He wants a, the perfect woman, but the perfect person doesn't exist. So Jose is talking about how he has two homes, he paid off his student loans, and he paid off his truck. Kudos to you, my friend, on that one. But you have high standards. For you. That's probably why you ain't been with nobody, because your standards are up here, and you want someone to have the same, you want someone to be right there with you. You have to meet a person where they are. So if you have high standards, you might have to lower them standards just a tad bit. You got to lower them standards, my friend, like lower them standards because it ain't what it do like lower them like that was my issue with him his family says he talks too much i can see it i can definitely see that um all right you guys so before i actually go into the last you know bow and johnny i want to talk about the fact that the brides and the grooms they made each other separately right so here's the issue that i have with jose and with gil right so Jose and Gil are talking about, you know, when I met with the matchmakers, I told them that I don't want someone on Instagram that has over a thousand, um, you know, followers. I don't want an Instagram model because I think that, you know, she'll be too into herself. Not necessarily the case. I mean, there's a lot of YouTube personalities who have over a thousand subscribers and they are not into themselves. So the fuck that mean? Like that rubbed me wrong. Johnny got an issue with Johnny too. Johnny talking about he wants someone that is clingy. I don't know why. You might want to go and talk to somebody about why you want someone that's clingy, Johnny. And then Val, she's an introvert. We saw that. Um. So other women, Val was an introvert, but we noticed that Val can have a good time if need, you know, when she when it needs to happen. Um, Michaela can have a good time, and Mirla stick in the mud she was Mirla was judging Michaela and I wasn't feeling that but let's move on and wrap up the episode and talk about Johnny and Bao all right you guys so let's talk about Johnny and Bao right so both Johnny and Bao are 35 years old so Johnny he met with his friends to tell him you know tell them you know he's getting married he's kind of scared about getting married right he says you know he's too picky and he has a bit of OCD he's been single for seven years and he's a control freak right Listen to, listen to Johnny's package. I was like, okay, Johnny is a bit of a control freak. And then when you see him, like, you can see how his closet is decorated and everything. Nothing's wrong with that, but you can see that Johnny is a bit of a control freak. I'm interested to see how things will work out between him and Bao, you know. So then we see Bao. She sits with her brother and her friend. Actually, he's her roommate. Um, and then, you know, she tells them that the expert found a match for her. You know, Bao tells us she uses spreadsheets for everything i'm like girl we would that would be annoy me so you use a spreadsheet for literally everything but her family said what they were happy for her right now when johnny johnny told us that his mom and dad they divorced right his dad moved to california and his parents neither one of them remarried right so his mom is okay with this whole thing but he knows that his dad is not going to be cool with it. He knows that his dad has his set ideals for what marriage should be. And I was thinking to myself, are you serious? He has set ideals for what marriage should be, but you're divorced. Isn't that frowned upon in your, in your, isn't that frowned upon? Like, come on. You have an issue with him meeting this woman unconventionally, but you are a divorcee. Okay. Okay. I mean, I guess, right? So 
he calls his dad right to tell him that he'll be getting married in two weeks so on the screen they said his dad had reservations right and then he it also said that his dad didn't want to be a part of the filming process and it was just interesting like i said because you're divorced so it's you're basically passing judgment like you got married you're divorced and you know you know what thinking about this if you take out the fact that it says married at first sight this is technically an arranged marriage although i don't you know i wouldn't do that either but when you think about it these are literally just arranged marriages where you don't really you know most times in arranged parent marriages the families know of each other before they you know they know of each other and they meet each other before the wedding so it's really just an arranged marriage and don't they do that in some Asian cultures, arranged marriages? Okay. But his dad, was he said his dad was angry. His dad says it was it's dangerous, which it could be a little bit dangerous. Because like I said a few minutes ago, it could be. Could be. Um. Yeah. I said that Johnny needs to find some, some kind of help about why he wants someone that is so clingy. I just didn't understand that. He kept saying he wants someone that's a stage five clinger. Why? Why do you want someone that's that into you, that psychotic? <laughs> Bow, she says you don't want someone with a micro penis. I died laughing at that part, right? So then they're the, actually the first couple that got married, right? And Bow actually kind of rubbed me the wrong way when she got it, um, his gifts. They were wrapped up in um in in, in sports memorabilia. She's like, oh no, I didn't want someone that was into sports. I wanted a Nobel Prize person. I'm like, girl, what? So are you saying that someone who's into sports is, can't be smart as well? Is that what you're saying? Like that was what I got from her, that someone that is into sports, oh, they can't be a smart person. But you know, like I said, Johnny and Bao are the first couple to get married and come to find out they know each other. So she went to U of H and he went to UT. Ah, we're kind of, uh, we're kind of alumni brothers. Cause I'm a UT graduate as well. I'm a UT graduate from Tyler, but we're both UT. We're both UT graduates, so I rocks with you, Johnny. I'm not a Longhorn, but I rocks with you. Um, what else? So yeah, they knew each other, and I have a good feeling when it comes to Johnny and Bell. I I, I kind of have a good feeling with those two that they know each other, and uh, yeah, I have a good feeling about Johnny and Bell. But yeah, you guys, that's the first episode of. Married at first sight. I think I'm going. I'm, I'm going to ride with this. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to fill it out. That's it, you guys. Let me know what you guys thought about the episode. Let me know what you guys think about the couples, and we'll discuss it further. So until the next one, you guys stay safe out there. Take care of yourselves. Wash your hands. Wear a mask or not, whichever one you guys do decide to do. Just be blessed. Be safe. Social distance, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. No oh, crap.